Okay, it's time to rig. Yay. In like two minutes, because I gotta shoot out all the links. I'm trying to get Austin in here, but who knows? We'll see. Hello, first viewer, mystery viewer. I love the name of this character, Fingers Mackenzie. <laughs> like. You just address him by his first name. You can make it sound hilarious. Oh, fingers, Mackenzie. <laughs> Gabe Newell says, Do I want to get fingered? Oh, gosh. Why, why do I read the chat? Oh, man. It's already, it's already PG. This is great. Default 001. Hey, buddy. The sup with a lot of peace. Okay, who is this guy? This is Fingers McKenzie. Ooh. Let's see what we got here. Where's our wireframe button? There it is. Oh! Okay. So this is Fingers McKenzie. He's a beautiful individual. Made, uh, of course, modeled and textured by our very own Alfred or Crazy Boo 2000. Crazy B two thousand. <laughs> uh, but first, in case anyone's curious, because I like poly counts. I like knowing poly counts. When I was at school, I, I was me and my best friend. We, we used to guess each other's poly counts on things they were working on. I got pretty close sometimes, but anyway. Ah, thirteen thousand nine hundred and twelve. Eh, that's not bad. It's a little conservative, but then again, we want. We do want a lot of PCs to be able to play this game, if it ever comes out. What am I talking about? It is going to come out. Sometime. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is I was told that we need to figure out... Um, we need to figure out the, the scale. And my measurement is the is the character that comes with the cryogen that you can use, I guess. And we're still using that guy, so I gotta find out where he is. There he is. Oh my gosh! What, oh, what? What? I found a TSR pick of him already. Yeah! Yeah, he's been, I mean, th this was part of that dump that, what's his, uh, that Al Alfred did a long time ago. Um, we're going to delete all this. He has engine hands. <laughs> yeah, dude. Okay, so this is, wow, they're inside each other. That That's great. This isn't time for making love. Okay. Our PG-13. Okay. Turn off our reference. Why can't I? Oh, okay. Unlock. Boop. Wow, so Fingers McKenzie's a giant. <laughs> Where? I can break connections. So I can unlock... Austin, dude, get in a voice chat with me, dude. Hit me up. Let's chat. 
yeah, this is the Fingers McKenzie rig, or the character model. We we did get some things rigged for when we were working in Unreal Engine, but um, having to switch to CryEngine means that we have to re-rig stuff. <laughs> and everyone else has been focused with all the back-end stuff, um, like mostly just programming stuff and actual environments, and characters have kind of taken a back seat. So I hit this point where I'm like, if I don't do it, I don't, it's gonna it, it's gonna be a while, and I'm already getting a phone call. <sighs> yeah, one moment, guys. I apologize. I do have to answer this. Oh, okay. We're back. Oh my gosh, why did it get ridiculous? Okay. Actually, I don't need to resize. I just need to... So, for one, he's already facing the wrong way, so we got to turn him around. I think. Yeah, i got to make sure my axis is set correctly. That ringtone, yeah, yeah, that's from 24. I I love 24 as, as a child. I, I still like the show, but you know, obviously it's kind of dead. So, well, not really, but why is this? Am I an incremental? What, what am I doing? Step snap. No, that's 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 strange. Okay, we. Not getting anything done. <laughs> Sup, nerds. Yeah, hey, Ryan. <laughs> Good day to you, too. Okay, so that's not quite right. We're gonna... What are we doing? Uh, let's do your point. Nine. No. There we go. Whoa, what happened there? So, fun fact, when I applied to work on Rewind... I applied for two different spots. I did weapon artist and animation. But when they gave me the test for animation, part of the test was to fix like like a rig. And I was kind of like it kind of rubbed me the wrong way because like they didn't say rig like rigging at all. Just like the the, the the Google document said animation, right? So now in big studio settings you have your riggers, you have your tech artists, you know, and then you have the animators. And so usually that's a separate thing, but they work together, right? So that was kind of annoying. So I joined as a weapon artist, but after seeing that no one's really doing animation, here I am doing animation. <laughs> and here I am doing rigging, the very thing that I don't want to do. But to be honest, I do want to do animation when I actually like get out into the real world. So it's, I do kind of have to, I should know how to rig. So uh, here I am rigging. <laughs> okay. Like that, like that. Okay. Yeah, I just started rigging him, but there were some issues, so we're gonna create a new file. So this is our base. <laughs> oh, look how scary he looks with his eyes. All right. Back. Will that work? 
never tried this before. Oh, that's weird. What is left to do here? Totally not a super editor stuff thingy nerd guy, whatever. Wow, that's a sentence. Uh, in your project. Uh, you mean like Rewind or this file that I'm working on? Rigging is a very, like, what are you doing now? I, so rigging is the process where we have to create a skeleton and then attach it to the mesh and then make it appropriate so that you can actually, like, move the character, like what you see in games. Because right now, all we have is a single mesh. We got this giant piece of geometry that looks like a human. We cannot really move this. We can move it on one pivot point, but... We can't, like, move certain parts. If you really wanted to get lazy or if you wanted to create more work for yourself, you could grab these vertices. You can animate vertices individually if you want, but it's just not worth your time, right? I mean, if we did that, like, for instance, we'll make these vertices, like, just whoosh, right? And that's just not how you, how, how you do stuff, so... You know that 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 that's not how you do human animation. So, yeah, <laughs> that looks really ridiculous. It's a stone piece of nothing. Yes, that is correct. A stone piece of nothingness. It it is hollow inside too. Like there's just nothing. It's just oh, well, there's his legs. So, <laughs> please make that the walk animation. <laughs> That would be great. You know, I actually imported this guy doing the, like, like to, to make sure that the rig would import properly to, to CryEngine, I did this simple test where he just basically, like, he was he would, like, move back and be like, woo, and, like, move back. It was hilarious. Or a cheat or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. But So we're going to start this guy, though. I've been waiting long enough. So I'm going to start with the glutes. Uh oh, message. Join call. Oh my lord, I have. Hi. Sorry, I'll just gonna no, keep no, that was gonna my keep bad. talking <laughs> so you can balance your levels. No, no, it's balanced. I have my little sound dial that I up and down. Gotcha. It's all the way up. Oofta. Okay, cool. let's open up your stream. Dude, check out the glutes on McKen's on fingers. Um, your stream? Yeah. All right. I will pull that up. We start with the pelvis. Well, are you sculpting him? No. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, I increase my joint size. Here, joint size. Here we go. Ooh, it's Ryan Lemon. Hello. He's one of our gold members. He is one of our gold members. Oh! <gasps> The field train is here. Okay, field train. I am me, daddy. I am not oh saying. God. Yeah. Well, now he just said oh it. Oh my gosh. No, <laughs> no, I got you, field train. I got you. Every the stream. field train is here. The rare appearance of the field train. It's not rare. He's actually in a lot of these. He's streams. he's appeared only like, like once before. Oh, I think I've only like streamed before, so I can makes sense. <laughs> I just want to make sure I get this right because. This little joint dot joint thing. I gotta look at this. We're gonna. Well, you see, DK Demon, I cannot really put a Discord profile picture to that. So that's kind of like how we, how we do ranks. Is it's based off how active you are. Um, let's check chat because I haven't. And Give it. about here. These joints are huge. They're way too big. Mm. X-ray 
joint. We're gonna activate joints button. <laughs> oh, Ryan, funny. <laughs> Those are some big joints. Um, yeah, but for the rolls, we have different rolls on the Discord. So we have gold, silver, and bronze. Those are the rolls that regular people can get. And then we have the platinum roll, which Ooh. was made for Graham Norgate. Graham Norgate, pardon me. The real Graham Norgate, right? Not the, not the real Norgate, no. <laughs> <laughs> and that that uh, classy ham, he is actually a platinum too. I don't know why he is, but he is. Wait, did I just say classy ham? Oh lord, I meant uh, crazy crazy boo two thousand. Crazy boo, dude. He's like the legend of rewind, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one, two, one, two. Oopsies. One, two. Okay, so we need one more right up here. Boop. I'm the first like of the... Oh, someone else liked it. Alfred. Well, you see the field train. I have not like really seen you too active. Like, you, I could be wrong, but whenever like I'm hopping in the chat, I don't see you. Did yeah, what the give heck? Classy a roll because he did make a video on. So we kind of bumped him up right there, Brown, right then. And I love rigging. Oh, David, I've been wanting to say this. Um, why do I have to just... Can't... Uh, not a... Bro. <laughs> Yo, how's that oh, sniper oh, rifle texture you. coming along? Sniper rifle texture? I'm happy with the wood, I really... But I was told the metal isn't up to par by another artist. So, oh, who is this artist? Um, he was in a very small Discord. Oh, he's not even from Rewind? Nah, dude. Mm -mm. No. At some point, that gun's got to get to the point where it's, quote, finished, so you can work on other stuff. I know. That's going to happen. I think I'm happy with the placement of these joints. It was Ivo. Right hand, speed sculptor, quick helper, 3D squad, my user, key shot user, Dubston. Darius Melancholy. Darius Melancholy says, I love Capri Sun. I also like Just Capri Sun. That, you know, I am, I am drinking Capri Sun right now. I know, the first part of the body, or like the first part of like the actual drink is good but then after like three sips you're like oh my teeth are sticky this stinks dude i hate that because what it does it like it's in my throat my throat gets sick it's like <laughs> uh oh ugh, hate it and i'm not really drinking capri yo you should like ping alfred see if he wants to hop in here Like, all right. You know, if he does, I'm going to have to leave because we are going to get dragged into a conversation so freaking long. <laughs> it's not even going to be funny or enjoyable. It will be enjoyable. You got to get like the Alfred stream these days or Dude, another one. I think I, I joined your last one. Yeah, I was I like, that. that was like 0 11 or 0 12, I think. Notice uh, how I, I number these with three digits, implying that I'm going to get to 100. Yeah, what are you going to do when you get to 909? I'm going to quit Rewind. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down, David. Sorry. Uh, sorry, sorry, chat. I just want to make sure these joints are just like pretty okay so i think this one maybe up a little bit 
Oh jeez. Alfred did say that you gotta have one joint where the where 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 the bottom of the 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 the, the pecs are. And I said, so the nipple joint. And he's like, yes. So the titty joint. Hey, not not with fingers, Mackenzie. Nah. Sorry, I don't like politically correct. Oh, that looks weird. Yeah, but for real though, I might have to leave the rewind team soon. No. I have a not a whole. Story. It is half of it, so it's. I have one quarter of a class that I have to find time to do outside of my seven classes a day. So I might like. Ugh. I don't know if I can. I, yeah, I don't know if I'm really gonna like full blown leave. But I know that I'm gonna be focusing on my. On that class. Or than rewind, and you know, I haven't been focusing on rewind all that much. Lately. Oh, you're you're modeling other stuff. Like it's it's no secret. Like I understand. Yeah, I'm looking at one of the uh, things I'm doing right now. That I haven't finished yet. But if you're gonna work on rewind, we gotta get something done. Every, you know, at, at a reasonable time. You yeah. Know? <laughs> yep. Well, I don't want to call you out on the time frame, but. No, oh, please do. Uh, if I don't get called out. I'm not gonna finish it. A uh, month and a half. Longer than that. Oh my gosh. Hi, you know, I always don't even trust you because, because, like, when you said you made all those Siberia guns, I'm like, what did he do that if it takes him this long to texture a gun? I've been jumping, like, back and forth and, like, doing a bunch of different stuff and just texturing. Like, on, on one gun, that is. Okay. Like, I still haven't finished it. I haven't gotten the UVs for that mapped out yet. For what? I'm sorry. I... The Tommy gun. Oh. I had a UV, U, uh, UV issue that I couldn't figure out how to fix. Actually, I had issues with that. When I tried baking all the end guns, it was just, just fucked up. I uh, messed up. Oh, <laughs> PG-13, boy! Is Austin cheating on Rewind confirmed? Gone sexual. Emoji, 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 <laughs> emoji. Gone sexual, possibly. Yeah, so it turns out that the scale of his character was kind of off, but he was really tall. He was, like, pretty tall. I was like, wow. <laughs> I don't even know if there is a scale. Are you talking, like, the actual, like, import scale or the, like, scale of the... Like, the actual scale. Of the model? Yeah, of actual, like, our, our boy here, dude, our boy! Okay. Not even on world. <laughs> Top ten <laughs> anime <laughs> betrayal. Betrayals, yes. Oh my gosh, get out of here. Can bump. Much. Stay in here. Dude, my the script for the the film, the Olive's Revenge film, I'm working on, it completely disses <laughs> Watch Mojo at one point. <laughs> That's great. It's it's awesome. It's like it's like subtle too. Mm-hmm. Because, like, you know, Halo, Halo's, like, 500 years ahead of time, so he's like, he's like, what does it matter? That channel's been dead for years. <laughs> oh, son of a disc. If you get to substance paint. We're going to call us the right side. We're going to call that right. Yo, Agus, can you play some Death Grips? It's my birthday, please. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I don't either, but I'm, happy birthday. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna play what I want. <laughs> it is actually my friend Maddie's birthday tomorrow. Oh. But I gave her the happy birthday today because she's skipping school tomorrow. Because <laughs> it's, it's her birthday. I mean, I did the same last year. I skipped two weeks. Probably shouldn't have done that. 
<laughs> How do you get away with skipping two weeks of school? I just... I don't... I really just didn't want to go, so I didn't go. <laughs> oh, you know, um, it's drama. Can you look at the back? Like, from a side view? I will do so my own time. Okay. <laughs> You're like, oh. Because, oh, because like I thought your spine placement was a little off. You know what, Mister I rig stuff. I have. <laughs> you don't tell me how to rig my guns. <laughs> this isn't a gun. This is a character. Oh right. Your spine. Wait, what do you want? Yeah, what do you want about my spine? I think it's fine. Oh, I'm rhyming now. Back to my question. I I'm asked lying. ages ago. Are you guys all over the world? The BTW, some I know are in the UK. Left left curvy bracket of the devs, right curly bracket. Quote. Um, what? That's a loaded question. I don't know if I can answer that. Oh, that was, um, I can answer that because I'm here for answering questions. Totally um, okay. Yeah. The, You're here to do work, boy. We're drinking water for now. Uh, Ace uh, mine just destroyed Mr. Riggs. What? Um, <laughs> yeah, so I am in Ohio uh, the, of the US of A, and I think there's like four other developers. I say like developers loosely because I think, isn't Jackson in, in the US? And he's, he's, uh, he's, yes, he is. He's, he's, I, he's just a human yes, resource. He's, he's just human resources, yeah. so he doesn't count. But. Yeah, most of them I are in the at, UK. You you, uh, you took the words right out of my mouth there. I, uh, I didn't want to say that because I actually like Jackson, and I would like to consider him a developer because he is helping develop the game. What? Yes, he is. He's doing all the stuff we don't want to do. BS. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I don't agree with that. I did not answer your question, actually. Yes. <laughs> Dang it. I cannot tell if that was sarcasm because that's just a text. <laughs> um, I want to say no because it's kind of just like, holy voice crack. I've been having a lot of those today. Oh. Uh, I actually stopped myself on that one. That was the second time I stopped myself during the stream. I didn't know I was 10 years old again. Um, but not, not really around the world, but it's more of... Like, U.S. and U.K. I think those are the two places. We did have someone in Germany. I remember that. Hey, well, our, our server manager, Seb, is from, apparently, is from Germany. I did not know that, and I'm stopping, or I'm trying to refrain from using the actual names of developers. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Yeah, it's like when you sent me that text today saying that you got those people removed from the developer role. I was like, David, no, I was working on that. <laughs> Clearly not hard enough. <laughs> I actually don't even think that um, the what's his face perfect got backed. No, he. But I mean, heck. Dude, I'll tell you what. When I did my first session of weight painting for this character model that I'm now re-rigging, I. Dude, the fingers were pretty solid. I was like, oh, I did it. Wait, do you have the uh, auto weight option in that software package? What the heck? Probably, maybe. It's not smooth. You know what? I can press three on the keyboard. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about my gun. I didn't even notice that I had that. That's bad. Oh, boy. Well, at least we got Ant doing guns. We'll get one gun uh, one from him. Boop. So is this? That is a word that we cannot have in chat. I apologize. You know what? I barely saw his message, but I don't know what word you're talking about. Oh, uh, PM you. It's not bad. It, it's. Is it one of those words that like it's only so offensive sweet. up in your place, and it's like when, when like he's like what? No, that's not offensive. Okay, there is no word that was offensive in my place. Well, no. no re remember word. when you were talking about No Man's Sky and how you named all your planets like. Oh like, my gosh, let's not talk about that. But mm -hmm. then, yep. 
when you messaged me what they were, I was like, what? Then like it was it was like it was like a culture, like a, like a local. Oh, it, culture it yeah. So it really was, yeah, because those are kind of like racial terms that were. Oh, is it? It's, it's really it's really localized. It's not really known all that much. And I think I I actually did make up a couple of them when I was making fun of someone on my bus years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hey, to be to be fair, he did bully me when I was younger, so I had the complete right to call him those names. He deserved it. <laughs> and I did make up the feather one. I believe. I mean, I'm sure you can find it somewhere, but yeah, Ryan, if you want to know, just for it. Te- just yeah, you should just you yeah. should just message Austin on uh, Discord. Jackie, it. I don't want to get into an argument, but I can be white, and I guess it would be all right if I'm talking to myself. If I, it's like when you. I ah, never mind. I'm not here. <laughs> Way too late to say that. Uh, it's too late. Yeah, but it's just because you say a word not directed towards someone doesn't mean that that someone will take it the same way that you take it. Oh. Yeah. But definite, I do use that word when I'm in my group of friends, that nobody is sensitive about that word. I do do that. And that is appropriate for it, but... Not David's stream here. (laughs) Can't have any of that. Yup. I'm going to make ramen now. Bye, nerds. Hey, oh, hey, what? bye, Ryan. You n- nerd. Yeah, you nerd. <laughs> I call. Oh my gosh. Um, I was walking by my buddy Caleb in the hall, and that's we, hilarious. Like my my friend Daniel and I, we were in speech, and um, we were looking at these the uh, these words because like we have these old books from the '90s, and it had like all these slang words though. And it was just hilarious. Because they had, um, like, dork and geek and, like, four eyes. And so we started uh, on our buddy Caleb that. (laughs) It was just a lot of fun. Uh, mm. (sighs) Okay, what finger is this? Is this the... Yeah, it's the pinky. Oh, hey, 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 hey. This guy can get shot for saying that Blender is best Toy Story used Blender. I don't know. No. No, they used Render Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't even <laughs> say that. <laughs> I'm actually going to fact check this guy on Blender Toy Story thing. Because yeah, it's DK. I did hear something about that. Sorry, I interrupted um, you. It's in oh, yeah, Siberia. Jackie, I have played Tekken, but I played like the really old Tekken. So I haven't played any new. I haven't played any new fighting game besides the new Mortal Kombat. I oh, that just- game is so good. It's a lot of fun, and I swear they're gonna announce a new one soon. It's been a, it's been three yeah, years. Mortal Kombat. Yeah, the next their oh. next one. It's been That's three. A, they always announce it in the spring, and then they release the following year. That's what they've done for the last like three games. Yeah, I distanced myself from like video games and like video game releases, and video games, just so that I can be surprised when a new one comes out, and so I'm not like just like waiting like, a whole two years for a game to come out. Well. So, Big old waste. You gotta keep wait. You gotta keep your mind occupied, brother. True. And I keep it occupied with other stuff than video game release dates. But you can't not know. Do you, do you not Except watch? Except that release date for the new. Oh my gosh, this this blew me away. The um. The the new God of War. 
catch that release date. It, it's actually one day before my birthday. Dang. Nice birthday present. Uh, Aegis Mind, is this blob hitbox based or is that another project to do? How does that work? That is a loaded question. Um, <laughs> you mean like Rewind? It, 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 Re Rewind's going to be hitbox based, right? I mean, huh? Right? Uh, what other box would it be based by? Um, a miss box. A missed box. Oh, God. Those. <laughs> Whew. I'm sure if Josh is watching this, he's just cringing with everything we're saying. It's like, why, why are these people <laughs> working on this project? I'll, I don't know. <laughs> Yep. Uh, Blender Toy Story. I know the Man on a High Castle was made with cycles in Blender. Or the, uh, the rendering visual effects for it. Can you believe I passed the rigging class that I took, even though I didn't completely finish the rig? I, I tried. I had to restart three times. <laughs> that was intense stuff. Like FK, IK, switches, and control curves. Oh, man. That was brutal. Not nearly as intricate as um... this. Your thumbs are weird. Oh, and is there another project in the same character to do that slash make that happen? Well, this is the software I'm using is called Autodesk Maya, and it's for modeling, animation, lighting, rendering, and effects and stuff. So, what we do is we make the assets, or at least I make my assets in Maya. And then we port those over. We import them to CryEngine. And the programming and the Cry and all, all that stuff gets assembled in CryEngine versus, like, you could use Unreal or you could use Unity or, or Amazon Lumberyard. <laughs> Who would have thought Amazon make a game engine? Amazon didn't make a game engine. They bought the rights to... Um, oh. Three. Well, in my eyes, they made a game engine. They definitely did improve it and made it much better than it was, definitely. And technically they did. And I have yet to use it, which I want really bad. Just haven't gotten over to it. Um, what is a flesh blob hitbox? Amazon doesn't make, they buy. <laughs> They're actually shipping me something right now. I got another 24 acoustic <gasps> fo acoustic foam panels. Actually, it's probably... I, I didn't buy oh, it through yeah. Amazon. I actually bought it through Walmart, I think. Yeah, it was Walmart. Oof. I'm sorry. Are you guys playing Kingdom Come? How is it? Question. Hmm. Yeah, I just... I read about their developer, like, how rough it was to get that game out. And then how it, rough it was? Didn't they use CryEngine for it? Yeah, but I mean, like, <gasps> like getting the idea off the ground and getting funding... Yes. And, Oh, oh yes. Game Maker is the best engine. I agree, Field Train. I've never used Game Maker, so I can tell you. Oh, so you don't know. I feel like it's dumbed down. Like it just sounds like it'd be Game Maker 2015. Like oh, okay. This is like RPG Maker for the PS2. Oh, look at this magic connecting these bones. Oh. Man, dude, I am just losing all, all motivation. One model I have here for this other project I'm working on. I well, work on rewind. I am gonna work on rewind. Uh, Do you think you get the sniper texture done by next Sunday, or by the the meeting for this Sunday? Do it's we already have... done. It's done. Well, shoot. I'll post... send you the files. Like, post I can't... Them. Don't send me the files. Just show me a picture. <laughs> I can't because I don't know how crying works and. I don't know who knows how to put it into the engine properly or has time to do that, I should say, because I did ask Josh. He said no. Just hand, uh, I want to say hand, hand it to Crafty, but you might, you might want, you might want to wait a few days because I, I just handed him all this sci-fi handgun stuff. 
Goodbye, field train. Field train, bye. Also, he's not in the UK. Or he's eating a really late dinner. Oh. Um... Yeah, that makes sense, because um, he just doesn't use proper words for stuff, so he used the word, like, yep. blob and goop and sham wow, fake words like that. Sham wow. <laughs> yeah. No, but for hitboxes, what they are, they are kind of like literal boxes that kind of trace the mesh and are parented to the bones. So it's it, it doesn't use the existing geometry as a hit. You could use the existing geometry of the character as a hitbox. That would just be adding a... How many polygons is this? Do you know? Uh, 13,912. It would just be adding 13,000 <laughs> polygons to it when you could be doing that in less than 200. Because I did check earlier. <laughs> At the beginning oh, of the stream. Gosh, I'm warm. Oof. Yeah, but Josh, you sent me over some resources that was going to help me get this in engine. But can't you I get the textures and then Blender, and then render out of Blender? No, I can render. No, it's being Mr. rendered. Mr. Blender right now. is amazing. And I can't do that because I have this set up in CryEngine format, so oh. I can only get the really crappy viewport render that I get, which is going to look the exact same in CryEngine. So, because CryEngine is amazing. It's a, Gosh, this is wrong. I, 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 give me one second. You know what? Quick. I'll give you a full minute. Oh, well, thank you. Okay, we got this whole right side. I gotta name these. Holy cow, I am still warm. David, have you watched Altered Carbon on Netflix? No. Sorry, I like to get work done. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh it is! Woo! Very. Yeah. No, I honestly don't watch a lot of TV. I really don't. I, like, don't watch TV. You watch movies? Here, here and there. I'll, I'll go out and see, like, two movies a year, maybe. Okay. Okay. My friend Daniel, he hates TV shows, but he loves movies. And I despise him for it. Assign every toe a, to a skeleton thing. Fortunately, he's wearing boots. So I don't got feet to worry about. But we could do... We call this our tippy toe. There we go. Okie dokie. Oh man, it reminds me of Do Doki Doki. You're gonna hop in, in, oh, in, our, in our stream. You're gonna hop in our server and Doki Doki, dude, let's go. Do you actually have a Doki Doki server? <laughs> I don't know. I just make Gosh. fun of it because you make fun of it. <laughs> Doki Doki is an amazing game. It's it's so. But I. Uh, and the right material that I can't find here. Disco, bro. This is night. This is nightclub. Get out of here. Ooh. Wrecked. Uh, I think this is it. Dude, <gasps> steel gun looks like. Expected one found. What? Too many arguments. What are you talking? What are you talking about? I don't know. Oh, is Maya having problems? Wait, what the heck is wrong with your shoulder bone? Are you? Hey, I'm That's doing. Shoulder... I'm doing what oh. Alfred told me to. Wait, 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 you want me to move it? <laughs> um, it looks like it's connected to his inner chest and not his. That's what Alfred wanted me to do, I guess. Okie dokie. I am not going to question it. According to my schematics. <laughs> Schematics. <laughs> Although, uh, what, what? You know what? Would it make sense? Actually, I don't know. I'm questioning it now. <laughs> questioning what? 
if I parent this to that instead. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not a rigger, so I can... Actually, I'm stupid. Based on the, it's good you you brought that up. Holy cow! Because he said it. He said it should go on joint three. I had it on joint two, like uh, the spine joint two. <laughs> Wiggle your own shoulder. Does it come from your chest center? <laughs> yeah, let's just look at our own bodies. For example, <laughs> that, oh, that, thank you, DK Dean. What would I do without you? Okay. What would you do without me, David? I would cry. Probably do a lot, a lot more work. Yeah, that's how it goes. Like, when I don't talk, and I just have play music, I, I get work done, dude. Like, I would have this rig done yeah. if you weren't here and I wasn't talking. Well, you're the one. I, I actually wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> and you were talking first, so you get out of here. Hey, yeah, I... Okay. <laughs> no! Boop! Look at that magic. If I couldn't mirror joints, I would be sad, because I'd have to, like, redo every joint placement. Okay. Blender does not have that. Oh! oh points. For once, Maya wins. Does Maya have real time rendering? Uh, uh. Yeah. yeah. Duh. Sure. Duh. You just you just go to the, the thing up here to renderer and you do legacy high quality viewport. Of course. That's why the chat is my main priority. Oh, David, do you want me to drop your stream in the Blender server? <laughs> yeah. You're like, hey, this guy because is, we this, can. This guy's using Blender. <laughs> Again, we, left curly bracket, the chat, right curly bracket, are not your main priority. Oh my gosh, I... I am going to get banned from sharing that, and I'm the admin of the server. <laughs> I, this, this is a great place to take a break. I need to change the laundry so it doesn't get moldy, so I apologize. You are, okay, I revoke my message then. You should entertain the chat, oh, I will be right back. Right. Oh. Gosh, <laughs> you really put me in a pickle here. All right, chat, so how's it going? Hey, what I can do, that's going to take no effort. To ask you guys if you have any questions or anything about Rewind. Because I can answer some of those. Yes, I am the chat. I'm, I'm in. That's me, Austin1234. Oh my. Testers are not because back when we were on the Unreal Engine build, we were having testers because what we were doing with the testers wasn't like the typical play testing, like finding glitches and all that, which we did do and did an amazing job at that. But we kind of used them for finding benchmarks and, and I, I forgot what the lowest machine that we ran wind on, but thought it was like one of those really, really old Elk 2 computers, like from a public school, or at least my public school, because <laughs> they still have those uh, old, run, old ones from pre-2012. I'm not sure what the exact date is, but it's something around there. I cannot find a nice material. <sighs> oh, is David back? Okay. Oh, let's go. I'm out of breath from running upstairs because, because I'm I'm fat because I work on rewind and I'm I'm a nerd and stuff. I actually need to get in shape. This do summer. ya? I am super fat. No, not really, but I did gain. I could I could lose 12 pounds at least 15 I could pounds lose myself. A lot more than 12 pounds. No, you're not fat. Are you fat? I eh, less actually so I did gain forty pounds over so you, <laughs> you should you ever go to the doctor and they're like they're like, Oh, according to your, your weight and your height, you are twelve percent obese and you're like what? You know that that number actually does not sound 
too far into me. I think I am, like, in, like, the top, not, like, obese, but, like, my height-to-weight ratio is just, like, a smidge too high or Aww. too low. I'm not sure where it is, but I am short. Only had boxers to take out wearing nothing else. That is why he's quick. Pfft. I had everything to take out, dude. <laughs> what if I told you I don't wear boxers? Screw that. I <laughs> cannot say when TSR is going to come out. Uh, David, what month is it? Uh, October. That does not sound right because there's still snow outside. Well, you know what? You just live in a different uh, place. February. You lied to me. February 14th. Uh, I cannot say that it will come out at the end of February, but we might have some stuff to show. Maybe in like, maybe in like two or th- Maybe like two weeks. For <laughs> David, yes. Maybe two or three years for Austin. <laughs> now, honestly, <laughs> any playable demo, I honestly don't see it until like August, like right now. At, at, at our current pace, I really don't see it until August. Yeah, we did hit a roadblock there recently with something. Going commando. <laughs> Wait, what what roadblock are you talking about? There was something in the rewind chat that's oh the mannequin stuff. There was something like that. Oh, that is that regarding of, AI? Uh, I'm not sure if it was AI or character. No, no, I think it was AI. I think it was. Where is that texture artist application hiding? Yeah, that Alexander guy, environment artist. He's he, like, like, like. Was that the test where they have to do like, like the anvil with like the hand? Honestly, hand? I did not download that gigabyte file, so I was still waiting for a photo. No, it was from. No, I'm talking about like several weeks, like a month ago. I don't know if we're talking about the same guy. It like the guy's name is Alexander. Like. Like from like we technically were not supposed to know that information. Oh, well, the guy's name is number ninety-seven or whatever the application. <laughs> well, okay, you know what? It was he, it was linked to his art station, so you know what? <laughs> I know his name. Oh, that guy? Yeah, is he coming on the team? I I, I keep on because like his work is great. I'm like, well, why is he on the team yeah. yet? Why Jackson? Do your job. Uh, yo, Agus, I got a brother <laughs> that is named David. That's awesome. I wish my name was David. I don't know why my parents would name me Agus. What the hell? That's a stupid. And mind is a middle name? What the heck is that about? <laughs> What's your last name? You don't want to know. It's even more ridiculous. No, it's, it's somewhere on my channel in a video or two if you look hard enough. <laughs> I've, I know it. <laughs> what am I doing? I should just quit. I should quit Rewind. I should quit. Oh, I don't know. Skin bind. Spine skin. That's what it is. I'm still a very young artist. I'm not ready for this. I cannot deliver on my art that I make. Well, you know what? You're better head start than I am. Show us your identity. Who said that? Mr. DKD. Fine, I'll show you a picture. Let me find one that I approve of. Uh, I don't see it. Alright, you know I what? Lied. That was late. Yeah, I'm going to do something, something better than a I'm going to pull up part of a video that I did. <laughs> uh. show us your identity, okay. Uh, ooh, that one is exactly what I had. Uh, oh my god. Like, the thing that I don't like about this metal is it looks like asphalt. Just a white. Oh, because it is literally using the grunge concrete dirty. Alright, here we go. 
Okay. It says cars, guns, and explosives. Sorry, this is our, our our field trip. So I'm not in this picture, but I'm gonna I'm gonna mute, mute this for a second. We're gonna pause this and listen to this amazing audio. This is I'm the one with the Nerf gun. <laughs> it's like two years ago. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen this video. I've seen pictures though. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Play it. We got the security guard. It's funny because it isn't even bolt action. If I pretended that it was. <laughs> oh, the recon CS6. And then my buddy like runs in. And we have this. <laughs> we have this ridiculous like. <laughs> This is the best school project ever. <laughs> that was a school project? Oh, art and... Yeah, yeah, this was a school project. <laughs> this is so stupid. And I had... I did not have enough time to, to do this. Like, the effects are so stupid. Like, some of them are, are, are half decent. But, like, some of them are just hilarious. And that jump there is pretty bad, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> This is so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's actually pretty good. This is the best part. This this shot where I do all the special where I reverse like the nerf dart. That I, I that was all one day. I spent a whole day on one shot. It took like five hours to do. Dude if you like, oh my gosh, I remember when I was in elementary school, and if you had like a decked out recon CS6, you like the coolest kid in school. Like, I don't think anybody actually had that though. I was, I was getting close, but anyway, I never got the drum back for it. That's that. If you want to watch the whole uh, the video, it's cars, guns, motion graphics, live action short. Yeah, we're, this field trip's gone on long enough. I know that picture. <laughs> that was your profile picture for a while. I remember that. <laughs> Dude, I was, still, I was happy with that shot. We 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 did that shot like nine times, like to get that angle right. Cause I was telling him, I'm like, this is what it needs to look like, and he's like, okay. And then I had to pretend, I had to like pretend to reverse the nerf dart. <laughs> it's just so stupid. Okay, well, so I gotta I gotta bind the skin. That I we did all that. We did the whole project in three weeks, and we were like, the, we were easily the best group. It was great. Dude, I know that feeling. Like, was, <laughs> like, yes. It was awesome. Uh, okay, mu music time. Where's the music? Oh, where's the music? Wow. Oh, that... David, I found out why it looks like an asphalt. And 10 out of 10. <laughs> Honestly, that is a 10 out of 10. That was a good video. I love that. I didn't show the car chase part. That was completely like... We, we, we went off site, dude. We went off site to record that. It was great. And it was so hot that day. It was awful. Uh, Ooh. I was, we were sweating so much. It was ridiculous. I don't remember which one is the, the, the music level, but... Car chase? Yeah, you know what? You put an emoji in there, so now I gotta show the car chase. <laughs> that is like the best emoji to do if you want Dave to do something. All right. This is ridiculous because well, see, the story is we had four weeks to work on this, and the first week I chose to go to Florida with my buddy because it was like a free trip to Florida, and I'm like, I'm not gonna turn that what? down. So during my school quarter, I, I went to Florida and I told my, my I told my team, I was like, guys, you guys just work on your own stuff. I'm gonna make a shot list. I'm gonna come up with everything and I'll come back and we're, we're gonna we're gonna bust our butts and get this done. And so that's what happened. And so I made the shot list over you know during that time and then I got it back to them. And uh, yeah, it was hilarious. So then we started filming and. So this is about where it starts. <laughs> so uh, everybody, Ryan's r r running through the forest. Yeah. I got the metal kind of like done, but <laughs> much. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is so ridiculous. <laughs> the stream has the delay, so. 
Nice little blur on the license plate. Dude, our, our neighbors were, like, confused what the heck what we were doing. Of course, we started this at, like, 9 in the morning, I think. So... <laughs> <laughs> of course, all the sound mixing I did in post. <laughs> this shot. <laughs> right now, the car, I see you're looking at the blue truck. <laughs> That's what I'm at. <laughs> oh my Oh my gosh. A real excuse. What? There's the video. If you guys want to open that up in the separate link or something. I am saving that on my heart. <laughs> yeah, so the Rubik's Cube story, that is about because I kept, we we had to make it for a assignment really early on and what happened was my buddies, or uh, what I, I, I just kept sneaking it in every project render. <laughs> the, every project oh, render man. I could. I would sneak it into there. <laughs> and uh, it just, so it just became a joke. And so our whole plot for our, our, our video, our motion graphics final, was just Ryan steals my Rubik's Cube, so I stopped making bad like animation or something. Because I, I kept on using it in animation assignments. I made a Rubik's Cube rig where, like, like some of the big blocks come out and, like, form into smaller blocks that, like, form a gun and stuff. It's so stupid. Oh. Ugh. Uh. It was funny. We, like, when we got into, into groups and I, told, and I told my friends, hey, I'm leaving in, like, two days for Florida. And they're like, what? And... <laughs> and, uh, I, we couldn't think of, like, like a plot or whatever. And, he, and so I was like, I was like, guys, what if, and then, and then I think, well, I, actually, no, it wasn't me. It was like my buddy, my buddy Ryan. He was like, I got it. You get mad over me stealing your Rubik's Cube. And I'm like, yes, that's it. <laughs> Always warn people about it if you're a film. Yeah, I did actually, I did it. We, we have a Facebook group for the neighborhood for whatever reason. So I did post <laughs> that in there. Um. However, at school, um, I did not tell the company in the, the like the companies that work on the second floor of that building, and they came out during because we had some some exterior shots outside the school, and so they came out and like approached us because they were uh, that they at first they were gonna call the police because of our outfits, <laughs> even though they, like their other wait 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 because of your outfits yeah even though there is an art school below them and above them and two and like two like one guy had the tripod and, and, and then then the girl that that was our, our camera person she had like she had the camera and it's just like can you guys like not like yeah we're filming something <laughs> okay so no 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 hold on you had a guy in camouflage with a vest, a hat, a really nice mustache, glasses, <laughs> with fully automatic Nerf gun. And yeah, they were and, about to call the cops. Yeah, well, the Nerf gun part well wasn't. Uh, I think I don't think they actually saw that because I was doing like the shot where the car <laughs> where the car pulls up to a st where my car pulls up to a stop and then my foot just comes out. I think that I think that's what. Hey, I'm I'm so per I'm so tedious with the framing, man. All right. Oh, hey, and, David, I have to steal you. Um, hold on. Can I throw you into a video call? No. Can I... I'm can trying... I, to, I, we just had, like, a 20-minute field trip. I'm trying to rig this. <laughs> okay, one second. I just... I have to ask you if this is okay. What's up? Is the video going? What's up? Can you see it? Can I see it? Uh, I have OBS open. Oh, open Discord. Oh. You can. Oh, okay. See it? Yeah, what's up? How's it look? Uh, better. I, bro, I definitely think it's passable. Like, you should call, call it, like, get this over to whoever needs to have it. And, cause we, we, I, we, I'm we, the one who has to do it. <laughs> That's the problem. And the, uh, well, uh, Crafty is our, is uh, like the weapons programmer. So okay. he, 
Okay. He he's responsible for for handling that that stuff. What well, you should materials? Uh, I don't know. What you should at least do is upload these files to the to the to the repository. The repo, yeah. Uh, I'll export you. People do not see cameras; only suits and guns. Austin, <laughs> 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 my buddy I and I. That. My but like uh, like like my friend and I, we keep on like whenever we look back, we both agree that that was the best quarter at, at that school because like that one assignment, <laughs> it had everything. It was the culmination of lots of learning. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for having me here, David. But I'm gonna have no. to no. I got a strict bedtime because I almost didn't wake up this morning. I was sitting there. I was like five minutes until my ride was. Hold on, you gotta. You, Is there any you gotta, reason to wake him? You gotta wait for. You gotta wait for fingers to get Kenzie to say bye. Bye. Okay, you're gonna see that in like 12, 30 seconds. <laughs> Rotate the um, the shoulder connecting spine. You're gonna see it here in a moment. <laughs> okay. I'm, so. I'm I'm gonna watch this the stream so I time it right. Okay, you watching? Bye. Oh wait, no, no. He's not saying bye yet. He's getting ready. He's thinking about it. He's thinking. Bye, Austin. <laughs> um. I see his pelvis right now. It's always wow. About. Wow, it's late. Okay. That's. Am I behind? I am behind like two seconds. No, I'm actually. Yep. No. <laughs> You're waving goodbye to me. Like, <laughs> yeah, but tomorrow I actually do have the presentation. Also, oh, I forgot to tell you, after David, or not David, yes, after David left that night, I was talking with Alfred, and I think we're on the topic of presentations, and it just so happens that I have a present that I'm doing right now for a class. Oh, <laughs> doing. Um, but yeah, so I got the presentation for our class tomorrow, and my partner... He was throwing like writing like these sentences for the slides and i uh, for my slides i wrote two siblings and grammar what you gotta do like a two minute presentation on it so two, two like, minutes a cinch mm -hmm. yeah i know it really is and it's a lot of fun when you are like pulled out of the class and put up on the podium and say talk for two minutes <laughs> <laughs> that was the that was the introduction of my speech class that was a lot of fun and um Dude, I lost train of thought. Yeah, but Alfred said like the best way to present is to be unprepared. Kind of <laughs> a rough translation. That's, that's that's how. That's all right. That's how I translated it, and that is how I actually do my stuff because I do. I'm a really good presenter, believe it or not. I'm gonna have to record myself. On, on oh, I get to write an outline, and then I just do it. I could not tell you, DK, what latency on this is. It's probably very, very bad, though. Um, wow, that's also, foot. what did you mean, Austin, who has answers to my legit questions? This question foot's mark janky. Like, oh. This isn't that bad. This is much nicer than when I first did, did this uh, last night. Most definitely. Oh, it's so weird seeing you rotate joints and not bones. I'm so used to the bone system, not the joint system. Oh, oh. my god. That's weird. Alright, well, if I don't leave now, I'm not going to leave, so goodbye. Bye, sir. <laughs> David. Well, guys, just me and you now. See ya, 20 seconds late. Ooh. Okay, we're out of this call now. I right, can concentrate.
So, what have we done so far? Well, we had our field trip, and we rigged... Well, we have these joints. Oh, gosh, that's not right. I was already nervous when I saw he had a holster. I was like, this is not great. <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is fun. This wrist ain't that bad. Uh, I forgot to work on the orientation. I forgot to do the like like to orient these bones, like to basically change where the the rotation axes are. But I think that's okay. We really just need a character in the game right now, <laughs> like really badly. Yeah, this one I'm not. Oh, that's interesting. That's okay. That looks bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, this pivot is off. Oh gosh. That's going to be rough to animate. Can I rotate that and have it work? That's the question. Oh, I can. Nice. I hope that's okay. I'm just going to fix a few of these. See, I, I, I hate rigging because it's just so tedious. Like, there's all these little little nuances to it that you just you learn over time. When I took, uh, when I went, was uh, taking that rigging class in school, my, like, like the professor said, if you've been drawing and you have this idea for a character, like, don't rig it until, like, you've already rigged, like, two or three characters. <laughs> like, get some experience in. It's fine. He's called Fingers. He is special. <laughs> no, it's not fine. position kind of this bothers me right here I feel like this needs to be over like this kind of eh. problem is if I I mean for the fingers that's kind of okay but if I move this so like a pivot like this and I type in like the coordinates over here and I do the same over here the positioning won't be exactly the same because I just by hand I'm not gonna get this orientation as I want it, if that makes sense, which probably doesn't. Ooh, that is off. Kinda. Yeah, that's janky. I don't have the right coordinates because it's not symmetrical through the middle, is it? Well, here's the thing. I could go back, if I really wanted to, I could go back to where before I mirrored all these joints over and just fixed orientation on one hand and then re-mirror all that and then and then redo that uh, skin bind so that it actually attaches to the skin. Um, but I don't feel like doing that. And when I, when I look at it, I think that this is probably going to be faster, even though I'm doing the same thing twice.
Quick, name this time for his track. I really need to do a stream on like a Sunday at like 3 o'clock so I can tap into that audience of people in the UK who are like, because I, I always stream at like 8 or 9, that's really late over there. Okay, that looks fine. Just fix that. Just fix that. Duh. Whatever. Wow, I think I. No, that looks right. Well, that this one doesn't, but. I'm pretty sure I, I adjusted all these, but now they're just. Whatever. This is fine. Focused on getting something that works. Okay, so we're going to make a new file. You're from the Netherlands, one, p dude. It's probably like three o'clock your time in the morning. I think I understand what you just said. <laughs> I, I I think to to summarize, I think it's gonna be okay. Four o'clock? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jeez. Gosh. Oh, the red axis. Yeah, no, I think it'll, it'll be okay. <laughs> this is the result of me being a novice rigger. Three zero five. Yes, we're gonna call this. What are we going to call this? Paint weights. So now we got to do something called paint weights. shut down but you saw the at everyone tag <laughs> sorry i haven't streamed in like a week or two man it's like i need to do something i don't like the idea of doing rigging on stream but thought eh, i kind of changed my mind especially since i already got familiarized because i've already done all this work i just i did it like not as great <laughs> it took longer <laughs> paint skin weights Paint add. So this part's great. L hip. You have some tips about that too. I, I don't know what you're talking about. So 
so I'm trying to remember how to how I erase all this. Flood. So I want to get rid of this blue. Basically, what we're seeing here is, so I, I'm I have the the left hip joint selected, this joint right here. And what this little heat ramp is showing us is the vertices that are affected. And so the warmer the color, the more the vertices move. And then blue is like the very least amount of like 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 affected. So when I when we rotate this joint, it's going to move mostly everything right here but a lot of this blue stuff is also going to be moved but not as much so we don't want all this right here i'm just trying to remember how how to erase skin paint weights hold shift no replace i'm gonna look this up real quick this is a reason why I don't want to stream rigging, because I, I kind of know what I'm doing, but not really. But sort of. How to paint black. Change the value to zero. Capacity. Oh, look at that. All right. We figured it out. Although it's being picky. Oh, yeah, to add, I have to put add on or smooth, maybe. No, it's adding blue. Shoot, now it's not doing anything. Place. So value to zero, okay. It's not working. Oh, it kind of is. I guess blue is okay. I, I if, if I can't, I mean, I was going, I was getting the black earlier, but. Right mouse button. No, that doesn't do anything. Oh, now I'm getting the getting the black. All right. There we go. It's kind of working. It's it's picky. All 
Unfortunately, we have a, a way to mirror all, all this. What we're doing right now is called skin weighting. Uh, we can mirror these across, so I only have to do one side, fortunately. And that's really being picky. I don't know why it's not working. That's okay. It's got tie, though. I'll tell you what, despite the frustrating nature of rigging, or just the tedious nature of this, it is nice to be doing something that's not working with with guns for once. Don't get, don't get me wrong, I like working with the guns, but there are, there are days where I'd rather not do it, and days where I rather would. See, when he moves his leg, I'm trying to not move his belt that much, because that's kind of ridiculous. Little thing right there. Okay, so let's see. Let's just see what this looks like. Yeah, it's hardly doing anything. It's moving this little belt buckle clip, but in theory, we don't even want the belt buckle clip to be moved at all. Oh gosh, it's moving. What the heck? These joints don't actually even look. Those don't even look right. Oh gosh, that's not good. Yay, rigging! We're gonna reopen this file. Okay, so we're back to normal. <laughs> so maybe erasing all that blue wasn't what we wanted. If I can mirror it, why am I doing it on the other leg? I was doing that because it just looked like there was influence on that leg, and I didn't want it to influence that at all. Let's just, we're going to take another look at... Okay, so... The issue here is that it's stretching this, this belt, and we don't want that. So, I guess the blue is fine, but we don't want a lot of this green up here. That's what we don't want. Hip should be higher. Um, maybe, maybe they could be, but I mean, we're a little bit past that point. I don't think it's... It's fairly... I mean, it's fairly close. It's not... Because it's right about where the, behind the butt, right? And so the butt is... That's... I mean, that's, that's fairly close. Maybe it could be nudged a little bit higher into the... Like, inward, but... So we're going to see what happens if I get rid of the belt, the blue on the belt. Change our opacity down. We should have added some bones for the tie so the tie could wave around be so cool get some cloth physics I'll tell you what we get some cloth physics on the snowman model <laughs> I will admit I was frustrated last night with where this was at uh, prior to today this is looking better I'm happy with this progress I had I had done I had gotten to this point and painted weights uh, already last night but the skeleton had more joints in it. And the more joints that you have, the more confusing that Maya will, will be when it comes to uh, skinning bones to the mesh. AKA, it's more head, 
more desk uh, head banging, if you will, or face desk. That's looking pretty blue. Well, I don't know, because we want more, a little bit more green where this is, but the belt needs to be... The belt can't really move that much. I'm still learning. <laughs> and that. We'll keep the green maybe right there. Because that belt was stretching, and we do not want that. We could try and get a little bit more blue. You know more than me. Well, I mean, I guess so. There are times when I get kind of frustrated with how much I know and how much I don't know after all these years, but... But then I look at people that are actually in the industry, and it's like, well, they're in their 30s. They've been doing it twice as long as I have. I, I kind of started doing this when I was 14. I'm 25 now, but I started modeling and working in this software when I was 14, or a little bit before that. But I was I was on and off. I was a hobbyist. I didn't I, I didn't take it seriously. I just kind of messed around. The issue was. And I've said this in other videos. They they didn't have like YouTube with the just all these tutorials at the time. That was 2007, I think 2006. So YouTube was like a year old. <laughs> I actually bought books online for. I have two books that about Maya. <laughs> if you can believe that. Woo. Some green in there. Okay, we're going to see how that looks now. Let's, uh... Well, that's better, but now we're getting this happening. So maybe less influence right there underneath the belt. Ideally, we want to plan on the leg ra raising at least this much. So that... Oh, that's stretching. That's not bad. That's not good. <sighs> I love rigging. I was on her place, wasn't I? No, I was at. See one. Woo. Oh, it's Game Lord. Hi. Hello, sir. I was going to make that completely white. Probably not good. Replace zero. Okay. Still trying to get the hang of how this works, what this all means. Yeah, so that stretch that pop had the geometry pop out. If I just loosen up this space here, maybe that'll go away. I 
And this belt, this belt was stretching too, if I remember. So I gotta get that down to nothing. This isn't bad. It's just, I guess, just a learning process. I gotta keep doing this. Game Lord, since just got here, we're working on fingers, Mackenzie. I just rigged all the, I set the skeleton up, and I got the bones. And now I'm working on a thing called weight painting, in case you don't know. That is basically fixing the way that vertices move, the way that this, uh, the mesh is being moved around by the bones. We got a little too much here. At least I think we do. I'm still learning. The good news is we can always go back and change change how this is. It doesn't have to be complete. <laughs> Again. B Ingers McBenzie. I don't know what that is, but I had some green in the belt, but this needs to be pretty much almost completely blue now. I mean, the heat of battle fighting. I mean, especially because this guy won't be in a cutscene. This doesn't need to be crazy de detailed. But you don't want textures popping. I wish there was, this was higher poly, though. I mean, this. I feel like with, if I had more polygons, I'd have more to work with here. But probably wrong there. But <laughs> Chicago. Oh, the song changed. Yes, the song did change. All right, let's see how this looks. Our belt is pretty much uh, hardly moving, but if it would if it wasn't moving at all, I feel like that would be that would look wrong. So. I think I'm going to call this good and move on to another section. This doesn't look too bad. I'm not there's any popping or any like black empty spaces. <laughs> Only 27 more joints to go. <laughs> so for the knee The knee almost doesn't even look like it needs to be. I'm sure if I, had, if I was an expert rigger, I'd probably see some things. But in my opinion, this doesn't... It would be easy. Everyone would be doing it. Yep. You know what? I think with this knee moving, I think the top here... The bottom of the thigh on the front is being pulled a little bit too much. We're going to try taking some of that influence out. Because because the I mean his pants are kind of baggy, so they would kind of have to move a little bit. But have you tried using a double joint for the knee? Uh, no. 
No, I'm not. I'm trying to. We're, I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible, to, to be honest, because I, I actually had a rig that was more complicated, and I I got on a call with Alfred earlier today, and um, he told me he's like, you're doing a little too much, basically. I mean, that, that wasn't exactly what he said, but there was stuff. There was stuff that I didn't need, and it was making the whole paint weight painting thing harder to do. So, yeah, that's that. That looks kind of weird with the pants, but I think this is good. So let's go on to the next one. Oh, yeah. The foot. Okay, so. Left foot. Way this this cloth is stretching, so I want to get the stretch out. I wish I had a pen mouse for this. Like the kind of I don't like all these rapid clicks and stuff. Fun to use a pen for once. I really want I really want to uh, rig the Reaper splitter. To be honest, I know Alfred's done that one. Soften this up a little bit. This boot is like in something there twisting. Okay. Yeah. I, I guess that would help. But again, but again I, I think you just joined uh, Rock Rock and Metallic. Uh, I'm not going to try pronouncing that. Um. Yeah, if you don't know, I'm not a rigger. This is the first time that I've actually... I haven't, I haven't completed this rig yet, but what, I only had one rigging class in my major, uh, which I did a bachelor's, and um, it was tough. I mean, the like like the, there was a lot more to it. Like we were doing FK, IK, then doing like like the switches going back and forth and control curves, and it was definitely more involved. So something like this is a little easier for me, but I'm still having. It's still been been tough to actually get myself to do it. I've been slacking just because I don't I don't like rigging, but. I never actually finished the, the, the rig in, in the class. Uh, it's kind of a long story. If you guys want to hear it, I'll tell it. But um, I never ended up finishing it, but I worked my, my butt off trying to. And my professor saw that, and he, so he, I, you know, I have sympathy. You know, it's, you know, it's with like art school, if, it, the quality is not really important. I mean, in a certain way, it is, because if you're not improving, then what are you doing, right? But really the important thing is are you putting the, the, the work in are you actually trying and so that was nice two semesters of rigging and i quite enjoyed it had to do it more i've done some rigs and like it bro you should apply for to, to actually help us out because right now i'm the only one that's even working on characters both animation and rigging so we would definitely love to have you It's funny, I actually applied as rigging and animation. I actually said this earlier, but 
I apply it as rigging and animation, and I, um, or no, I, I apply it as animation and, and weapon artist, but I actually ended up going with the weapon, with the weapon position, but here I am doing animation now, so, it's not just nice. You did apply. My name is Chris Hepburn. I just joined Discord last night. How long ago did you apply? Because we do have a lot of applications uh, over 90, to be precise. I was number 67, I think. Um, if you applied through the Google form, that's what we... Bro, seriously, if we have another person working on characters and animation, that would be a godsend. That would be awesome. Yeah, there there is a test. Um, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I'll I'll, I'll tell you anyway. Uh, the test is you have to fix a like a rig. There like there's an animation in progress, but there's some things that aren't aren't connected, I guess. Yesterday, okay. I will pass this on. Um, to in fact, I'll do it right now. I will message uh, our HR guy. So we debt we do need an, like animators. I mean, I can do like animation pretty pretty well. I I have a lot to work on, obviously, but <clears throat> the amount of workload we have, you know, it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, my Discord username is is the same as it is here. Um, Agus Mind. I use this this alias across everything. So I'm I'm, I'm on Twitter. I if you, if you have an Xbox, you can add me on Xbox. I'm just typing this out real quick. Because I mean, in reality, we just we need people that are willing to stick with this thing, that aren't going to be like like they're going to work on stuff and then leave and then say you can't use my work because that's that's really why this project has taken so long that but that, that's one of the big factors if there was like a top three then in the reasons that would be one like when i joined the team i at, at that point this is back in november by that point they had shown so many renders of guns and stuff only for me to come to find out that they're, they're basically not done because those were assets were created at one point and people just left the team and said don't use it which is kind of ridiculous when you think about that like if you join the team and you get on the team it's like you are probably a time splitters fan for one so why would you put that work in and then just completely it just like defeats the purpose it bothers me so much We just got to get something playable, man. And, I mean, with now that we're past the whole Unreal debacle and we're on CryEngine, I think it's stable now. I think that we're going to actually make this thing happen. But, again, we're just we're, we're restarting. And people, like, not, not everyone knows that. <laughs> I 
And we do have some gameplay stuff that's that's. You know, I'm gonna be careful with what what I say here, but we have, we have been working on the gameplay, at least like the programmers have, and we have we don't like we don't really have stuff with with bots yet, but you can move around environments. We have like 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 my first person weapon animations and like the, that 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 stuff is there. But thanks in part to CryEngine and Crytek, we're currently still going back and forth on how we're going to be doing AI and all that. Yeah, Chris, I um, I, I messaged uh, Jackson, is his name, and he got back to me and said he will look into your application tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow evening is what he said. So he should get back to you within a day or two. Bro, if we could have you on as an animator and me not being the only one, that would be great. And if you know more about rigging than I do, that would be great too. <laughs> hey, you got it. Okay, so maybe not the heat the back here. That needs to be not as white. Okay. I'm getting the hang of this. This isn't that bad. It's just tedious work. And Tom Clark Hill. Yeah, the fact we have Tom, dude, that's, that's, oh my gosh, when I heard that news. Oh. Tom Clark Hill, uh, the voice actor of Cortez, in case anyone watching is, it, or is curious. He is the voice actor of the main character, Cortez, in Time Splitters 2 and Future Perfect. There's an interview somewhere where he talks about it. He's like, he's like, I love Cortez. Woo. And our, our sound team is still like like reaching out, but I'm I'm fairly confident we're gonna get some of the original cast. We actually uh I kinda don't want to say this, but I do. Um to my 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 five viewers. Um Bye Chris. If you're still here, send me a. You can send me my uh, binary or FBX. I don't mind which. Um, was what I was going to say. We, we confirmed, at least from what I've heard, we did we did confirm the involvement of the voice actor, who is the narrator from the second game. In the very beginning, there's that tracking shot, where the guy's like, "Out of the darkness, we did carry with our hateful will." Yeah, that guy. That that guy apparently said that he's on board. So that's that that's kinda cool. <laughs> I mean the voice talent is a huge deal. I mean But but then again I would love to see what other people like could do. Because I mean you think of that voice talent, they're probably in their twenties and now they're in like their late thirties maybe ish. It, it would be neat to get some of the, I mean, Alfred can do some funny sounds. <laughs> There's actually a story I read on Graham Norgut's uh, Facebook page on Twitter, or not pff, Facebook page on uh, on Facebook page. He mentioned that he, um, for Time Splitters One, he got a b bunch of his friends, and for like literally they just hung out, and he bribed them with beer or like alcohol, and said, "Hey, come on over, and we're gonna record sound effects for this game." <laughs> I particularly remember the tuxedo zombie sounds. I thought those were hilarious. Whenever he died. It just sounds so ridiculous. The voice actors got interviewed about them? Was it time splitters related or that would be neat. That'd be awesome. This is still Pulling from the top there. Uh, gotta figure this one out here. Maybe if I have more of this cloth coming down, that'll block it from. Yeah, that'll probably be good.
I mean, in a run cycle, this leg probably won't be that high up, so that's not... I, th I think that'll work. That looks a little janky right there, though. Oh, it's a series from your country. Dutch Spongebob? <laughs> what? Oh, gosh, this is... All right. Tippy toe. Oh. So we want the toe to be raising. This is what we want. That looks kind of janky right there. But... Maybe less influence right there, probably. Yeah, that's not sitting right with me. So you think this is really just the toes, kind of, for the most part, so it's redundant as that may sound. Okay. Oh, that's much better. Intro song, yep. Okay, so the legs are done. <laughs> I think I was going to stream this late. kind of wanted to play some Xbox, but... Oh, this is more important. Not so much rewind, but me actually getting portfolio material. Because right now, I I graduated a little bit ago, and I'm trying to get to a point here in the next four to five months where I feel comfortable applying to an actual animation job. And I really just... Like, right, right now, rewind is an excellent conduit for me to get experience. Otherwise, I'd just be kind of... Like, sitting around. It would be hard to actually motivate myself. Like, I, I mean, not really, but, like, here's the thing. I, I could motivate myself through fear of, like, like not getting a job and, like, working at, like, like, a, like a job for, like, $10 an hour. Or motivate myself out of the fact that this is a project that hundreds of fans are wanting to see come to life. So, and I need a job. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, spine. How are we looking at spine? Uh, I won't say millions. I mean, I'm sure a million people have played Time Splitters. <laughs> Definitely get less of this belt. Because originally my idea was to make my own sh like shooter demo, and I started it in Unreal Engine. And part of me does want to take some of these assets that I'm working on and just apply it for just like a like an actual 
just like for something for portfolio where it's like, look, I can, I assembled this and I went through this, ex this learning experience. I mean, I have the gun models. I have the gun animations. Like, why not? Playing days in and out with my friends. Childhood. You want to hear something funny? I was, <laughs> I refused to play as the monkey for the longest time. I like never want to play as a monkey because he's like the odd job, right? He, he, he's the, he's the short character and it's you just saying, I want to cheat and make myself harder to hit. And so one night I was spending the night at my buddy's house and I, I went to bed before him. I mean, I think I'm in like maybe set sixth grade, maybe at this, at this point. So I'm only like nine or 10 and, uh, he plays on my my time splitters account on time splitters 2 and plays as the monkey just once and so then while, while this isn't a big deal he told me he told me this when i woke up because i was so proud of the fact i never played as the monkey but in in, in the stats section it says played as monkey and then the, the number of times and so he showed me that and i was like no oh! like, i got so mad at him <laughs> <laughs> that was that was pretty funny. Oh, it's a little too much. Fun fact, I actually just, uh, right now I work at a place that has, like, laser tag and, like, go-karts and stuff. And for the playlist of music that plays in laser tag, we just overhauled it. Like, I kind of took on the responsibility of coming up with a new playlist. It's not, like, the same tracks for every time you play laser tag, but there's, like, a bunch of them, like, a hundred and some tracks that it just, like, randomly shuffles. So you don't hear the same stuff every time you play. Which Some, some arenas, like, like, will do that, and it just gets monotonous. But I ended up including the Time Slayers Rewind theme in it. And the bass slide at the end, dude, oh my gosh, it just shakes the arena. <laughs> so cool. Oh, you post a few songs in Discord? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I, I, I felt bad because... Um, uh, TBH, or whatever his name is, he's one of the testers, he had posted a bunch of tracks, and I went through each one and listened to it, at least half of the track, and, um, and it just wasn't the, they did, they, the tracks he suggested didn't have the, that intensity that, that I was wanting, and I felt bad when I told him I, I, I had this, and he's, I, I hope, I, he, he sounded like he was offended, and I, if you're in here, TBH, or whatever, I apologize, the, the intensity just wasn't quite there. Just looking for intensity. Got some tracks from Killer Instinct, too. Like like the new one. Oh, gosh. Some of those tracks are just perfect for it. It's great. And Gran Turismo, too. Gran Turismo 6, or I think I have the theme for that one. That one is a shocker. I would have never thought to look up a racing game soundtrack. I got another story. <laughs> um, since the Aztec music is playing. I um, So when you play Aztec on medium or hard, you have that whole extra area with, like, the bridge and the... The, like those little like stone blocks that turn around and shoot at you and stuff and like the, the spear walls and then the indiana jones the boulder that so yeah there's those golems at the end right and i for the longest time i never knew that there was a grenade launcher there like right around the corner when you walk in that room those rooms like shaped like 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 a plus and there's like an altar in the center so like you walk forward until an altar is there and then there's these little corridors that go left right and then front and that has like a high ceiling apparently 
there's a grenade launcher there to use to kill the golems. I did not know this. So maybe it was the like the, the actual designers trolling and being like, oh, I wonder if they'll find this. Because otherwise, by design, they should have put that at the at the entrance, maybe. But so what I did to to beat hard and meet normal mode was I lured the the stone golems all the way up to where the traps are, where that you would use on on easy mode, or at least on all modes for the the, the first few golems. And oh my gosh, that was it's just so. Oh my gosh, like. Especially the part with the spears. Like, just getting them to follow you and... Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I lured them into the traps, dude. I, I Each one. One by one. I got them to follow me all the way up. Oh my gosh. It was rough. Because I'm going to hit you. They take a lot of your health. Oh my gosh. I, I can't believe I did that. Yeah, I, I beat it that way. I don't... Uh, that's so stupid. <laughs> Luckily, I wasn't playing time attack. Yeah, dude. Uh. Well, that's exciting. I'm glad because I mean, after the weight painting. You could add like control curves, but they're not necessary, and so we could get this character into CryEngine, or I could at least start doing animations, and then because uh, right now we need a pro. If there are any programmers out there, we need a programmer that is just like dedicated to doing character work. So that that is something because we have right now we have one person working on AI, we have one person working on kind of stuff overall. Josh, he's working on kind of all over the place. And then we have Crafty, who's working on. Uh, the weapon stuff. And then there are a couple others that pop in and out. But they're not um, full time. I guess you could say. When I say full time. I mean like full part time. Like every week they're actively working on stuff. For at least five hours a week. By the way. Do you know the TS3 almost end game crow fight? Do you know the TS3 almost end the first time you see him combined with the machine, yeah. So you're in his mansion, yeah. Yeah, when you when you meet Crow and he's he he's got like the whole trailer thing going on. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Why? Do you have a funny story there? <laughs> oh gosh. When you skip the cutscene in a certain spot, he will... No way! There's a bug <laughs> that when you skip the cutscene on a certain spot, he will insta-die. Used by speedrunners. No, oh my gosh. Because if you want to speedrun that game in a hard mode, that's... There was some kind of... Like, convention over in France or, like, Germany. That I know, I do recall seeing a video where these guys did, like, a, like a speedrun co-op of Feature Perfect. I don't think I've watched the whole thing, but that's if they did that, that's hilarious. <laughs> My gosh. Alright, look at that. That is uh not bad. Nice. Oh, his belt's not really moving with the It's kinda of weird to see his torso moving and the belt not moving so i might paint the belt just a little bit i'm, I'm getting the hang of this guys I, I i'm i'm happy i'm happy right now if i wasn't getting the hang of this i would have stopped streaming <laughs> level up in rigging game's done fast yeah 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 that sounds right That's nuts. I remember speedrunners for Halo One. There, there's a way to almost entirely skip like one, like one level. It's kind of stupid how they do it. Cause 
if anyone here has played Halo, I'm talking about the or anyone watching after this, this stream. Uh, the level keys at the very end, we have to save keys, but he gets infected. Spoilers. Um, you, like you start off right in a corridor, right next to that room, and I guess there's a way to, sh to like make one of the Covenant shields vanish when you shoot it, if you shoot it too much, and then when it recharges, it shoots you into the ceiling, I guess. And you somehow walk around and drop into the map, <laughs> or back into the other room, and you skip like so much, like 90% of the map. Ugh. It's disgusting. Someone did like a all skulls like like no deaths like like legendary run of Halo One in like less than two hours. I was blown away. Cause I mean, shoot, you get to like this the la like the further you get, the more nervous it, it would get, right? I mean, shoot, you you get to like the last level and you're just like one mistake and all that that two hours is gone. <laughs> Oh, that was you? Okay. Yeah, I, I saw the notification. I'll, I'll watch it here when I'm done streaming. I, uh... I actually thought about, and I actually did, did this a while, when when you defeat hard mode campaign on TS2, it gives you the unlimited ammo cheat. And I thought about this idea of trying to do the the first mission Siberia on hard with that cheat, but the like the thing that's cool about this is that I would not get hit, I would not get take any damage whatsoever. And I practiced this. I, I ran this so many times. And the hardest part was the, the you know the chopper fight. But I would get to like I think before the chopper fight the hard part was the um some of the of the troopers or the uh pest control guys in the black with the, with the soviet rifles they would shoot you like so quickly after you turn the corner or they would turn the corner they would instantly shoot you but I'll, I'll get far though the hard part with the chopper what i was what i would try to do is i would stay in that little like window but i had to master the timing of when the guards would come through like the elevator on, on each side of the dam and they'd come after you and part of that was with mines, I think. I it was it was tough. It was very challenging. It was fun though. It was a fun way to do something new. I really it was just me finding a way to create like like another difficulty harder than hard mode. But in my own way, obviously, because they only had easy, medium, hard, so. Good luck. Yeah, it was fun. Ah, oh, Chris is back. Nice. Welcome back, Chris. You can't forget... The, forgetting the other objectives, like destroying the satellite. Well, you can't get that much... You can't get far without destroying the satellite. How do you forget that? Uh, or like the one filing cabinet you forget to... You get to destroy. Ugh. I did find one glitch by myself once. Um, I found out that uh, if you if you load up Ice Station, capture the bag in the second game, and you go to select your character, and then you select your team, if when you press A, I think you have to select blue team. And I did this on the GameCube, by the way, so it may, it may not work on the other uh, consoles. But you would you would select the um, your team, and the game would start loading. But right when you select a team, if you pressed B on on the controller, like a just right after you like triggered the game to load, you would spawn in on green team, but you wouldn't have a, like like a bag. At all. So red and blue would fight, but you'd be on your own on green team with no bag to defend and basically no way to score actual bags. <laughs> it was the most interesting thing. I remember I mean, this is back when the internet was like still super early.
I remember being really happy about finding that one. Okay. Uh, I do ice station. I I don't know about doing it on the emulator. I mean, who knows? I think I recreated this like several times. I, I I have a GameCube in front of me. I could try it, but obviously I can't really show you what I'm doing on GameCube. But got a GameCube hooked up to my well, my my TV screen that I use as a monitor. My screen number three. I should probably save. I have not saved in a while. Ooh. This is pretty rough. Got your message, Chris. I'll check that out after I'm streaming. Probably got another half hour in me. I'm trying to pull the like the bedtime back, man. Especially getting older, I'm like I need to get like a schedule that's actually like healthy. Falling asleep at like 2:30 consistently, it's just not good. We had to uh, at my job. We had to move all the arcade games in the, in the arcade arena area, and um, we do this once a year to vacuum underneath like the carpets and like. Uh, to clean up stuff and but you know also what i learned from my boss is that it's a psychological trick um to make the customers or the guests think that you got you bought like new games so it helps like like with sales a little bit um but to my point i was chosen to help them out there were like five or like six of us and i had to be in there at seven in the morning because we open at 11, and to m move all those games, and then clean vacuum underneath, and then re-plug every game with like like the, with the network adapters and everything. And, uh, it was a lot of work. We I mean, we weren't officially done until like an hour after we opened, but but I mean moments like that where I I still fall asleep at two. I'm only gonna get four hours of sleep, and uh, this is rough. Five in the morning. Oh, 11 p.m. So, Chris, you're in the U.S. Great. Or maybe you're in South America. <laughs> Canada. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> how's the snow up there? Is your has your the how's your igloo doing? Uh, you probably get that a lot. I'm sorry. Get that, get that joke from my guy I follow. Uh, and a YouTube creator called John CJG. He uh, he always makes jokes like about himself because he lives in Vancouver. He's like. If you're like, oh, Canada, so you're like igloos and stuff, and it's snowing. Yeah, dude. It's all melting. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, see how this joint is working for us. This holster is going to be the death of me. This, this holster needs to be, like... I feel like this holster needs to be completely whited out so everything moves seamlessly. We're gonna do that. Could you select the object by itself and just fill it to a value of one on the spine directly? Yeah, I, I probably could. I could f do this flood option. I think that's what what that is. But I'm I'm scared because I'm still new with this. <laughs> a fill tool. Or this brush, this brush that I just changed to. This is doing the trick. Who would have thought one of my one of my chat members would know better than me? <laughs> Capture the bag on ice station, yeah. You think the emulator is too fast? Yeah. Were you not able to re reproduce that bug? these are all white and this is all yellow I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some black some geometry is gonna be like have holes if I bend it this too much we're gonna find out does it matter what character oh gosh I don't I wouldn't think the character mattered for that bug but all these facts no I know I I, I know like how you want to troubleshoot Well, the good news is, if it is a certain character, you only got 124, I think. <laughs> Get started. <laughs> hey, just know that I never played as any of the military guys at the bottom of the list, because those guys are boring. So there you go, that's already down to 100, probably. All those military reskins, bleh. All right, that holster, that bit right there. This is not looking bad. Classy boy. Sorry, just know is my faith. You can also weight paint on whatever key and it stays constant. I'm not sure I know what you mean by that. That tress crinkling though. <laughs> what was this is at it's zeroed out, but it's showing a spot there, it's not good. That's not making me happy. 
That's okay. We'll go get away with it. Read the comment above it. Oh, my bad. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I feel like I want to go through each joint, though, before I, I start doing that. This scrunch right there. Oh, he's an old man. Oh. I guess to get something like that. Oh, they're going to be sick. Oh. That uh, deformation on the belt right there. Wow, that's money to be adjusted. I'm going to move on, though. Uh, spine joint three. Woo! Yeah, classy. This does have three spine joints. Originally, last night, I had like five or six, and Alpha was like, what are you doing? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> no one else is rigging, so I'm trying. <laughs> A little bit of this. I don't know. I may want a little bit of that. I cheat and use cat, then bake it out to an HIK. I don't know what that is, but okay. <laughs> I feel like his collar needs to be like... I don't know, part... Like the neck would influence the collar too, so we're gonna... We're gonna figure this out. I like his tie. Alfred did a good job with this guy. Cat is using voxels and max. Oh, you use max. Oh. <laughs> oh. I hate 3D as max. <laughs> I would love to get facial controls for this guy. He'd be a fun guy to, to mess around with. That uh, didn't sound right. <laughs> Out of context, that would have not have sounded right. <laughs> Where's my neck joint? Here we go. So the neck shouldn't be influencing much below this collar at all. Uh, I'll try and get rid of most of this. Alt key is everything, yeah.
Perfect. <laughs> uh. Maybe too much collar movement on the back, maybe. Yeah, that doesn't look right to me. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> Moving the is I moving the actual geometry there? What? It's supposed to be on add. I know I was moving the mesh there. I'm supposed to be editing a review right now, but I'm more entranced with the rigging. Lol. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm able to provide that distraction, I guess. This car is completely shifted over. Is this geometry supposed to be moving, Chris? Do you know this geometry is supposed to be moving when I paint weights? I feel like that's not right. I'm a newbie. Ah, this spot right here. Oh. Yeah, so that's not normal, or that is normal? Okay, it's weird how it does that. Maybe I just haven't noticed it until now.
Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Oh, okay. My head was rotated, and that's why. Oh, that makes so much more sense. Okay. I'm dumb. A lot of this clothing is still moving. I don't like that. We're going to do some more blue painting. Boop. Yeah, Chris, I think we need you on the team. <laughs> How a piece of geometry? It's 13,912, I think. I checked earlier. <laughs> Exiting Dolphin. Wait, why is the music still playing? Oh, wait! There's that one idiot that's streaming. That's me. actual piece of geometry list in your outliner it's just one it's just this one mesh it's all put together That's rough. Oh, sorry. I did lots of like mechanical stuff with like sci-fi ships when I was in school, and that was fun because you didn't have all this weight painting stuff. It was just solid objects as long as they moved and looked like they moved appropriately. Makes me appreciate the Transformers films. Those rigs are just ridiculous. I want to think about that. Yeah, you know. Oh gosh, what's up there? Oh. Uh, that is pulling right there. Okay. The belt is still pulling. What the heck is that about? Oh god, those ribs. Ah! <laughs> we got our head bone. Ooh! Oh, what the? Oh! Oh my god! What? That is just. I. Huh? What happened? Oh! Oh! We're gonna fix that bone right away. <laughs> this is the head. <laughs> Snake. <laughs>
<sighs> oh! I don't want to think about like Maya muscle and all that stuff. Yeah, black is the normals. Yeah, that much I do know. <laughs> I remember being so confused about how to like, how to like like reverse like the normals on a, on a polygon. It's like ah, oh, I just shift and okay. No, I was confused for the longest time. It's hard to describe to an outsider too. Like, how do you talk about what normals are? It's like the the inside part of a of an object, basically, that doesn't receive light. It's like, well, and why is it called normals? Like that, that <laughs> it's so stupid. Why isn't he's, there? We go. Exactly. <laughs> Chris, you and I are going to get along really well. So I gotta go inside Fingers McKenzie to get those faces on the inside. Oh boy! You think you know an easier way? What would that be? You're testing it. All right. Keep me updated, sir. This, um, oh no, is this bone not, oh no, it wasn't centered, that's not a big deal, but that's a rookie mistake right there, I could tell you that, and that bone isn't centered, oh my gosh, wow, I'm bad at rigging guys, you heard it here first. But I think I can fix that by getting good. I completely forgot to center these. Jeez. See, this is what happens when the I you put me in charge of rigging. Which who knows what complications this could could make happen. This could destroy my paint weights. Looks so stupid. Oh, okay. We're going to work on this arm and probably call it a night. Or some touch-ups. There's definitely touch-up that needs to happen, but this is some good progress. By Sunday, by meeting time, I can get this, uh... I can get this in a showable state. <sighs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna stand up for a moment, guys. Oof. 
Oh, getting old is great. Left short. Here we go. I don't think this strap needs to be affected much. This is weird how that some of this geometry. Click on the mesh geometry. Oh, double click on the object. To like highlight just all the faces of that original mesh if you're if I if I'm reading you right. Oh, the isolate selected. Yeah. This little button. I got you. I'll have to do that. Yeah, it's like that. Basically, I make this not move at all. I don't think I ever turn on soft selection, if I recall. But now this isn't controlling anything. This isn't working now. Broke it. <laughs> oh, let's practice the faces are selected. The um uh... 
was I doing? Okay, now the faces are not selected. Go back. There we go. Shoulder. I did it. <laughs> Woo. Got ourselves a, a halo ring. I really hope this rewind game can like pull people in from the newer generations. Yeah, it does make it easier for sure. I'm getting better at this. I uh, just want to work at Bungie. That's the end goal, guys. It's been the, the dream for the past 10 years now. Even with, with all the hate they're getting with Destiny 2, it's it's not so much about the game. It's just the culture. And Seattle is a beautiful place. I got to go there last uh, last September. I got to... I, mean, I know I've mentioned this a million times, but for you guys, I got to visit the actual studio. And that was like a dream come true. Walking out was the worst part, though. Ubisoft, it's it's in your they're in your city too, dude. Talk about I mean for me it's it, it's a 34 hour drive to to, to where I want to go. <laughs> about five hour flight. Yeah, go get some sleep, brother. Get, get out of here. <laughs> Unsubscribe and go to sleep. This shoulder looks pretty okay. I mean, that little... Oh, this part at the bottom there. That's not looking good. Is that, is that the belt? I swear. Is that, is that really... No, that's not the belt. Is it? Uh... That's crazy that they're so close to you, Chris. I mean, here in Cincinnati, Ohio, there's nothing. There's one company that's funded by a Kickstarter, but they're doing something 2D. And that's not cool. Oh, it looks so weird. Oh. <sighs> yeah, a lot of indies. I think inherently by design, like an, like an indie team isn't going to do 3D. So, just 2D stuff. Lots of programming. Why is that stretching like that? Well, that's the belt. Uh, I thought I fixed the belt. Oh my gosh. Why are there so many devices on this guy? <laughs> oh, I got laid off. Sorry, but sorry to hear that, brother. Well, work on rewind. <laughs> you get free cookies and bonuses. I guess it's blue still. I thought I fixed this spot. I thought I had this all blacked out. Well, now I do. 
Eh. Nothing. Save. Say what? Go away. Oh my gosh, why is it doing that? No value for each bone. That, like it's pulling from a different bone or something? Yeah, this one needs to be fixed and patched up on the... I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish the arms, get off. It's, it's almost midnight here. I need to, I wanna get to bed. Or at least try to. From the elbow. Okay. I need you around more, Chris. I swear, if you don't join the team, I'm going to be mad now. <laughs> I'm going to hold you to it. <laughs> and we need more animators and riggers. Who's going to rig the snowman? <laughs> Happy to help. Yeah, there's that blue spot right there. That's probably what that is. Oh, we're inside the tunnel. Oh. So, that's interesting how that can happen from the other bone. I didn't know that. Or the fishbowl. We'll get some fluid dynamics in there. We'll get some Maya fluids going. That'd be great. Freaking real-time particles flying out of the fishbowl. That would actually be kind of cool if we get some particle effects coming out of the fishbowl. <gasps> no! You get a headshot kill on him and his head explodes. The fishbowl breaks. <laughs> There's a splash effect on Robofish. That would be great. Oh my gosh. If this was Unreal, that'd probably be much more doable. That would be amazing. I know, dude. That would be so satisfying, too. Like, oh, you just got wrecked. I feel like though that something like that would be like a hidden thing that we wouldn't talk about. And if you had like a laser gun with like the charge shot, like the secondary charge shot, and then you get a headshot kill, like that would be like triggered. Like hidden things like that. That would be so lit. What if there already are hidden things like that? It's really hard to, to, to keep secret about certain things because I just want to talk about it. Especially since the team has been so quiet, man, in the past. I, I, I want to... It wasn't like... Before I joined, it wasn't like I'm going to get in there and tell her, tell her everyone about everything. But like after joining, it's like... I, I, I just... After being here for three months now, I want to be more vocal. Giant puff of steam. <laughs> Nah. Huh. I got nice three or four hours of weight painting today. Jeez. I worked on this earlier before streaming. Or at least the older version. Smooth. No, I need this one. I'm doing it. Oh, no, I just did all this in the bicep twist. That was incorrect. Oh, no. Oh, it could be a problematic. Although, I'll never move. I won't use this to move stuff, but... Yeah, this bicep twist has an influence on that belt. So, that could be an issue, right? So, I'd have to get that just belt moved again. Uh, pain weights. Bicep twist. Oh shoot, I've really been learning a lot here. Okay, well 
what's going on. Value and opacity. I'm just going to do every other joint. <laughs> the shoulder joint still has this. Oh, what the heck? I could probably get this cleaned up by the end of Friday or Saturday. Get this completely cleaned up. Okay. Let's get the rest of the hands done. I'm tired of going back to that belt. But I will make sure that that's not an issue. Elbow. I didn't ignore that comment, Chris. I saw it. I'm just trying to get this. I don't want to get off here. Just want to make sure. I like this guy's ignoring me now, dude. I'm probably talking too much. Honestly, like, these fingers don't look that bad anyway. I mean, maybe this doesn't need to be out like that. I mean, this finger shouldn't be influencing the others, though. That's, I don't think that's right. I say I think because I really don't know. fingers is boring yeah I remember when my instructor mentioned um, he mentioned like why do you think that in class once he he, he asked why do you think that uh, a lot of these animated films have one less finger on characters and no one could really get the answer but when he answered it was amazing like those of you who may not know the reasoning is because it's just cheaper it's faster, it's cheaper. It's one less finger you have to rig and animate. And depending on how com you know complex your rig is, that's going to save so much time. <laughs> I was like, are you serious? <laughs> it's like, yeah. That's genius. 
Like, who was that guy that was like, why don't we just not use one finger? Or we not use one of the fingers? Oh, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> this guy's genius. I definitely want to do certain animate death animations for some characters, though. Like, each character could have his own death animation when he dies. Maybe, like, even a certain weapon would cause that, but... Our car programmers already have enough work to do. Wake up, Mr. Tipper. It seems you're my guest once again. I remember my sister walked in once on this cutscene. She's like, well, what are you watching? I'm like, this is Time Splitters. This is not a show. Gosh, the graphics back then were so good. For the second game, they were... Woo! <clears throat> Adds a lot of memory to the engine. I mean, you'd be surprised. I, For all our gun animations, um, the gun animations, when you combine all the takes, it's like 2.5 like megabytes for all those, for like the 5th to 12, 13 gun animations for one gun. I mean, character animation, granted, that's going to be a little bit more. But, uh, you know, like what, what's a couple megabytes? <laughs> Yeah, I'm not kidding you. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> uh, this, I already have it open. This is my folder for the sci-fi handgun right now for, the, for Future Perfect. These are all of the takes. If you can see this, you'll notice each, each one. I think the longest one is the idle, but somehow that's still in, in the 300 range. Yeah, so the like I think the reload obviously that's the more the most complex has the most keyframes, but so that has like 415, not even half a megabyte. <laughs> so yeah, all these is 250 or you know 2.5 megabytes. That's nuts. The guys on the team told me about how you can combine animations, and it took me a while to figure it out. Because I thought you had to use Motion Builder, but it turns out you don't. Uh, and um, I was so happy once I figured it out, because if I could not figure out how to combine all that stuff, that would be, like, for all those files, the, the program would have to, like, open, like, import each one of that of those manually. And while that sounds... Like, it's not a big deal. For CryEngine, you have to import the skin, import the skeleton, and import the animation. And that's like... You have to do all those three steps for each animation. <laughs> and so that's just so much boring, tedious work. For one gun, I mean... It's literally like three or four times longer. That stream is behind. Ooh. Yeah, I'm importing them all. Well, you, you import them to the engine, and then that is saved somewhere in the engine's assets directory. And yeah, then you have textures to materials, channels, and whatnot.
I know game engines can be kind of hard to understand if you've never used them. How that all gets worked in. But it's, I had a hell of a time describing it to to, to my mother. How game how a game engine works. But she thinks this stuff is crazy, ridiculous, and meanwhile, I think doing my taxes is ridiculous, and thankfully, she, that's what she does for a living, so, she does it for me. Evil Apple, dude, you're showing up late, brother. I've been streaming forever. Where you been? Dang, three game engines on your belt. Nice. Yeah, Chris, definitely, when he responds, definitely get on that test or whatever. And, I mean, we could get you on the team within two weeks. It took, it took them forever, like like with me. It took them pff, like a month and a half. But... Okay. Alright. Pretty tweaking. Yeah, I guess paying weights isn't that bad. I mean, this is just a learning curve, obviously. Oh my gosh. Oh. Paying weights, free tweaking. Yeah, that sounds good. That's a long file name. I'm very happy with progress. I think I get this far with the weight painting, but so this the inside of the belt that needs to be adjusted. Um, the feet are oh gosh, what is happening there? We are going to fix that. I'm actually going to fix that right now. That left, left knee. A foot issue is due to a lack of value, really. So I need to have all this white then. I guess that's theoretically. Uh, yeah, I think I see what you mean. I think I understand. Left knee. So I color all this in. I theoretically it makes sense because this all needs to follow, right? Like. Not with the knee. Oh gosh, what did I just do? Oh, that looks right. Use the heel. Hmm. So what, did that mess up the heel then? Oh gosh. It did. Ah.
So the foot joint needs to be completely white, you said. I thought I had that, but it didn't work. <laughs> hey, oh, there we go. You've been very helpful, Chris. I appreciate it. You know what? We're we're gonna we're gonna get a pose with this guy. We're gonna get a pose in here real fast. This will take too long, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Uh, let me save this out. There's our bear gone. Why is it doing this incremental scale thing? This is happening earlier. I'm so lost. Ah, I, I don't think I'm gonna. I'm gonna wait till the rig's done. I, I, I want to go to bed. It's, it's another 20 minutes of messing with things. So that stream's farther behind than normal. save um let's go to show you guys something before i leave uh animation It's our second field trip. Woo I was pretty happy with this reload animation that I did. Unfortunately, we don't have hands figured out yet, but... I imagine once we get the hands animations done... I won't even do these handless animations in Maya. I'll just, the programmers, if, when you want to select no hands, it'll just turn off the hands in CryEngine. And I'll just be animating hands in Maya by default. Alright, uh, this animation might need some tweaking, but I think it's like, acceptable for the game. Like right before the, the clip goes in. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to call it a night, guys. This is, uh, I went a little longer than I thought I was going to, for sure. Check out a few things people sent me and then get off.
Yeah, I have that on five frames, I think. Or for six frames. Is your five or six? It definitely needs to be shortened by one or two frames. Bye, Apple. Thanks for stopping by, brother. I'll see you guys later.